So here we are. We got the front subframe all sandblasted. We got the rear subframe. This is the front subframe brace. So this bolts into where basically the caster arms go. No, sorry, right here. The caster arms bolt into there. It's a full kind of front brace for the uh, frame. Front spindle, both rear, both rear spindles. Uh, front spindles. I already mentioned that. Uh, and I got a set of, or a pair of um, rims sandblasted. I'm probably gonna go to town on these with a grinder. Do it myself and just rattle can it, go heavy with the paint. Um, and that's about it. So now I gotta find a paint booth, paint them, and install the new parts. So what is TD Motorsports up to now? Well, I got the tire domain truck. And got the trailer hooked up. Getting ready. I'm doing a trip out to Ottawa to pick up potentially a new fleet car for TD Motorsports. Not TD, not tire domain. Stay tuned. I spent all this time digging it out. I'm soaked in sweat. Good morning, tire domain YouTube. <laughs> it is 8.46 in the morning on a Sunday. I don't know what day it is. It's March somewhere. Uh, so we're driving out right now. Heading to the shop. Uh, last night, uh, well yesterday, I went down to my parents. That's where I store my trailer uh, on their property. So uh, we got that out. Uh, basically, sledgehammers, pickaxes, and two and two trucks and two shovels <laughs> and an hour of our time took uh, is what it took us to get the uh the trailer out of the frozen i don't know maybe inch and a half to two inches of ice that the wheels were frozen into so that was fun we got it out i brought it down to the shop last night started gathering everything uh all the tools i'll kind of go over everything i'm bringing to go inspect the new car I guess, yes, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't mention this, but I'm um, on my way to Ottawa to go look at a, a potential car. Uh, so, we'll see, I don't know the plans of this car yet, I don't have anything set for it. I will, um, I guess I'll play by the hour, see how it goes, see if the car checks out. Uh, honestly, there may be a chance I may not bring anything back and I just wasted, I drove 900 kilometers and like, 400 plus dollars of fuel for nothing so i mean that's the risk you take buying a car from a long distance uh we're going to ottawa for it we're located in uh basically Vaughan. uh it's about 400 and like 20 kilometers one away to drive uh yeah that's it you know uh i guess i'll keep you guys updated when i get there i'll go through everything that uh i'm personally taking to inspect the vehicle which will carry over to you guys I'll kind of go over some of the things to look for when you are inspecting a vehicle, how to inspect the vehicle. I'm stuck in a three-way train here and I don't know what to do. Uh, I hate doing, well, whatever. Anyways, that's that, stay tuned. Oh, so we're at the shop. Shop's a little, I can't say flooded, but definitely a lot of water <laughs> from uh, the trailer. So here we are, I'm at the shop. Um, a bit earlier because I figured you know what let's make life easier and let's wire up the winch so winch is mounted here I'm gonna wire it up right now have to make all the connections pretty straightforward so it's just a matter of drilling a hole feeding the cable through and then siliconing it sealed um, but yeah should be pretty straightforward I'm gonna attach the hook right now onto here get this ready Put the power unit on here and uh, start wiring things up. Go from there. So that's it. This is the tire rack on her here. So I'm not gonna waste too much time talking. I'm just gonna get to work, get it done, and then I'll show you guys everything. Go through everything after. All right. So this is all wired up. go she's all wired up I just have to tighten this box 
they're connected it's a mess because i'm in a rush i need brackets and stuff to hold them for now i'm gonna redo a little bit later but i've got a pack i didn't expect this to take this long all this fab work so just gotta tighten these screws put the cover back on and we're ready to rock so i guess maybe i'll do the other part later <laughs> of the showing what's what how to test everything and go from there that's it time to pack so we're checking in here uh, about i don't know say 20 minutes away from the destination this little box here i don't know if any of you are interested or not but i'm carrying a clam it's called the maxima clam so a guy from a gta uh from my facebook group basically uh for like reef reef aquariums and stuff he bought a coral like a clam and the shipping was too expensive he's in ottawa so uh kind of talked to him a little bit and uh i'm bringing him the coral <laughs> drive has been quite a quite a drive the winds are like exceeding 70 kilometers an hour 80 maybe up to 100 in open fields it's a pretty windy day 17 degrees at one point it's 13 now uh, we're literally in Ottawa already so if you can see that thing there that's the bed cover it's like been up as a spoiler the wind is so strong it keeps taking it from the side and just lifts it up we've pulled over like four times now to let it go down but wind picks it right back up so that's a little mini car update we're just driving passing the tesla dealership but uh, yeah so i'll give you guys uh, i'll pick up the camera again when we get there and i'm gonna be handing off the coral and i'm gonna be inspecting the car let's see here we are we're all loaded up tires on the rack car is immaculate except like a little quarter a rust spot there it's, fucking, it's mint it's so clean oh my and the interior is literally brand new every single stock component is on every little plastic guard everything is on this car one owner from dealer serviced at dealer awesome time to drive back thank goodness i got this winch going kind of bent it a little bit because we had to pull this thing out of that spot it was frozen the whole bottom of the rim was in ice i got it out sorry <sighs> no uh no little updates of what how to look at there's a lot of time to inspecting the car and looking at everything and that's it i'm done for i might continue a little bit later on we'll sound i'm pooped <laughs>